Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can really, really easily take a route from my route app and get it into your Garmin. I'm going to be using my Garmin Zumo XT. I'm going to be doing this the really, really easy way by using the My Route app app on my smartphone and the Garmin Drive app on my smartphone. So if that floats your boat and you'd like to know a little bit more, stay with me and I'll show you how to do this really, really simple task in a way that it works. This is a route that I've had for some time and used. I'm not going to make a new route. It's just one that I made as a student observe route. Anyway, so let's get into it. Um, first thing is this top menu, this page menu here. Yours might look slightly different. You may have everything that I've got in here. You may have that along the top here. It doesn't really matter. This is called a hamburger menu and almost certainly showing because I have a 13 inch screen on my, on my MacBook. It doesn't really matter one way or the other. As you can see, I have a, or probably see, I have a Google Map overlay. I use the Google Map overlay simply because I think it has more info in it and I like the look of it better. But that's just a personal choice. You can use whatever you like. But what's most important is we need to do two things to make sure that this will actually route seamlessly in or on your Garmin device, whether that's a Zumo, Zumo XD, whatever Garmin device it is that you've got. So we need to go and here, I'm gonna to go to the page menu um, and go down to where it says here. If you drop this drop down here, you'll see that this says here, and this is the here map. And it says the my, to my route app, my route app, stroke Garmin gold stroke nav. The gold just means that I've just got a, a lifetime gold account which you pay once and it's lifetime and it's cheap. So you need to make sure that this is ticked, not TomTom Tom or, 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 or OpenStreetMap. It needs to be the, the here map. And once you've done that, to click on the hamburger menu again to get the map to go away once you've done that and you're happy with your route you then need to go and make sure that all of the waypoints on your route are actually on the route with the google map overlay sometimes it doesn't put them exactly on the route and it can send your garmin into a bit of a tizzy so to de to get around that all you need to do is click on this or hover over this icon and come down to where it says um, here default gold nav that one because this is the maps this is the map that Garmin uses I'm going to go somewhere else choose your waypoints or your route shaping points however you've done them select a route shaping point click on the zoom in button and make sure that the bottom of the pearl here the bottom of the pearl is exactly on the line and you can go through each of them you can click it go to the next one and make sure that one's on the line and you make sure the next one's on the line and you adjust them accordingly all the way through your route I, this one's not on the route so check this out so this is not on the route let's come over to here and pop that on the route so let me go to the next one that's okay and that's my final destination doesn't really matter but for demonstration purposes I'll put that on the route as well that's actually in a car park so once you've done all that then your map is ready to be exported to your Garmin device using your smartphone so let's get over to the phone and see how that bit works so here we are with my iPhone and I have an old iPhone 7 I have the My Route app app already opened on the top left hand corner. I'm going to tap on the hamburger menu. It's the three lines at the top left hand corner. It's called a hamburger menu because it's supposed to look like a hamburger. So let's just tap on that. And then we're going to come down to where it says routes and track logs. So we tap on routes and track logs. I'm going to go down to the route that I was showing you earlier, which is a route called student assessment ride, which is there. And I'm going to go and tap on that route. And there's the route. At this point, I'm now going to go and click. See this, this, uh, this row just above the yellow nav icon? There's a row of three buttons. The middle one with the down pointing arrow and the dash underneath it. I'm going to tap on that one. And I'm going to say save. 
Now you can do one of two things. If you've got a Zoom OXT, then you can use the GPX 1.1 file, which is designed specifically for the Zoom OXT. If you're not sure, or if you have a different type of Garmin device, you can just come down to the GPX 1 file, the GPX 1 route and track log, POI means point of interest, will work perfectly well on the Zumo XT and other Garmin devices. So at that point, you just click on the download button and then you select export and you click on export. Here, you then need to choose the Garmin Drive app, which is mine in the middle there, Garmin Drive. So you tap on the Garmin Drive app and then that will go off. It'll load Garmin Drive and it will say to you, we received a GPX file. Would you like to send it to your Garmin device? And you select send. Well, why would you not send it? And at the bottom it says GPX file will be sent the next time you've got your Zumo XT. I can't read quick enough. It's online. So that's fabulous. So now let's get over to the Garmin Zumo XT and see how that bit works. Okay, so I started up my Garmin device. I'm going to click on Agree, which you'll all recognise at some point or another. It's just connected to my Wi-Fi. And Garmin Drive pops up and it imports new tracks. This is new tracks were received and added to tracks. Click OK. And it says new trips were received and added to your trip planner. And we're going to say OK. So if I go to my trip planner and here we go, here's the trip planner. And I go to save trips. Sorry about the bad quality here. And if I go down to uh, student assessment ride, which is what I called it before, and I open up student assessment ride, and I just click on the map just to show you, and there is the route. Ding dong. And then from then on, of course, you can go back and navigate that. You can just say, to, say go if you want to, and you can have it close as entry point, whatever you want to do, and start your route. So hopefully you found that a really useful video. That's the really easy way to do it. If you want to do it by connecting your Garmin Vice device to your Mac, have a look at the link above. I'm not sure whether it's that side or that side, but I'll put it up the top there somewhere. And I'll also put it in the description of the video below. Please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel where I'll have many, many more tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.